Hey, what's up? Dave with Brazos Valley Strength. And today I'm gonna to be making a really quick video on feet up bench press, or at least the way that I like to do feet up bench press. So the reason I'm making this video is last block I was doing feet up bench, and I got a few comments on some of my Instagram posts about how my feet are on the ground during my feet up bench press. And, and I think it, it really led me to wanting to make this video and talking about maybe variations in general, but one of the reasons why I think that doing it this way is better than some of the alternatives where people are doing their feet up bench press or Larsen's press. So for the sake of this video and really the way that I coach things, feet up bench press and Larsen's press are the same things. I, I think sometimes people use those as different exercises. And really, I, that, that kind of brings up the, the first point here, right? Is that exercise names don't have to be, I don't know, totally universal, right? That as coaches, we're using the names of these exercises to get our clients to use a, a certain technique or to get out of the exercise you draw attention to certain details that we're really looking for people to have. So just because I am using both of those as the same thing, if you see somebody else using them differently or you know any combination of all of that, nothing is wrong there, right? But I do want to talk about some of the reasons why I think that me using my feet on the ground is better than not doing that. So to start off with some of the goals that I would use feet up bench press for in the first place, a lot of times is to some degree load reduction, right? Like it, it's gonna be harder for most people to match the same weights that they would use for regular bench press, but the tension within the muscles, it can be very similar. And a lot of times it's because of certain aspects of the lift. And one of the biggest things may be stability for some people, but I, I basically at this point, I'm gonna say that we should not be having to reduce weight because of lack of stability. But some other reasons why we may have to reduce weight a little bit is going to be lack of our arch, right? So when we're setting up for our, our feet up bench press, I generally encourage people to set up the way that they normally would, right? Get connected to the barbell, try to create tension, generally try to match their position as best they can, but we're not gonna worry about it all that much, and then put their feet out in front of them. So they're going to be flat, at least, at least flatter than what they would anyway. So there's almost certainly for pretty much everybody going to be a noticeable reduction in their range of motion, right? And even if it's not like visually humongous, small changes can make a pretty big difference here. So that increase of range of motion is probably going to make people work their pecs a good bit harder. Now, another reason why feet up bench press can be beneficial a lot of times is, especially at higher volumes, like feet up bench press tends to be one that people use for bench pressing hypertrophy. It's a little bit more tolerable, right? So instead of getting a big arch and you know really kind of getting yourself in this uncomfortable position, back cramping, all of that, Feet up bench press tends to be one that is fairly approachable for most people, removing a lot of the discomfort from the regular bench press setup that a lot of people have to. A lot of people have to put in a ton of effort to maintain their position how they normally would. And so if we're taking that out, sometimes it's more approachable. And that increase in range of motion is probably a good thing for hypertrophy anyway. And one of the last reasons why I use feet up bench press for many people is just improving the control overall. So especially for somebody like me, a lot of lifters, who use a sinking style of bench press, there's going to be a lot of your rebound, you know, boost out of the bottom that we're just going to have removed when we are doing feet up bench. Not entirely, right? The bar can still sink in my chest. I can still get some rebound from my body but I'm taking away a large aspect of my legs being able to create that pop. So again, going back to a little bit more work on the pec. So there's a lot of reasons why we would want to use feet up bench press. I use it all the time. I think it's a really solid exercise, but it's very easy for us to ruin it. You know, I don't know if ruin is, is uh, too strong or not, but we can really, really reduce its effectiveness if stability becomes a problem. Right, so we see a lot of times people doing their feet up, bench press, Larson's press, whatever, and they're sticking their feet out in front of them, feet are off the ground. And my issue with this is that now one of the major limitations, one of the major components 
of this exercise is going to be our limitation based on our stability. That our lack of force production there is really going to limit our ability to progress the weights on the exercise. And that a lot of times our increase in loading, especially at first if we're doing it that way, just come from us getting better at balancing, right? Which is not really applicable for bench press, for powerlifting. That us just getting better at some sort of like, you know, circus trick here does not really improve our ability to transfer force in the bench press. So we always need to keep that front and center. I talked about that a lot in my question and answer video. One of the questions was how do we make optimal or how much should we be worrying about optimal exercises? And I said the very first thing with any exercise that we're trying to get progress, use it for powerlifting, is that it has to be stable. So in this case, if you're hovering your feet out in front of you and you're lacking stability, you are for sure going to be missing ability. You're gonna be missing opportunities for you to be able to progress and to load this exercise and to really get a lot out of it. So one of the other options that people do that's fairly common is just putting their feet on the end of the bench, just kind of tucking their feet up next to them which depending on body type is probably okay for a lot of people, right? If you're a smaller lifter and you don't really have issues laying on the bench, you're not falling off of the bench, then fine, right? That probably accomplishes a lot of what we're looking for. But if you're a bigger lifter, somebody like me, and you struggle, or you're still those stability issues, then just put your feet out in front of you, right? Having some stability in the lift is going to be fine, right? It's going to be better instead of fighting against that the whole way. So if you're feeling like your feet at bench press is limited by your balance, you need to find a better way, right? I don't really even care if people just put their heels on the ground or put their feet on the ground out in front of them. I'm just trying to move the exercise in the direction that I already mentioned, right? Make it a little bit harder on the pecs. Take away some of that pop. Make people control the bar a little bit more. And then we're probably getting out of the exercise what we really want to get out of it. So don't necessarily limit yourself by just the way that exercises are named, right? We're just trying to speak a common language with the people that we coach or you know, even just have names for these variations in general. But um, anyway, don't make sacrifices uh, just for the sake of you know, following some uh, you know, make-believe rules when really you're gonna be ending up limiting yourself. So anyway, that's all I got for you this week. Um, I'm kind of on a tight week this week. I'll be getting back to bigger videos next week. Um, the next video is actually, I think, gonna be kind of interesting. I'm gonna be talking about grip width on bench press, kind of similar notes here, um, and really how we can uh, judge the bench press maybe a little bit differently. So um, if this video did help you, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time.